that little child side just wants to believe. And I know you don't know what to do when you open your eyes, my eyes are loving you. Cause those days have passed and this morning has come and the copy's made. Together let's sing some songs And you touch your hair with one open eye And that little smile just drives me wild I got a lifetime to show you A lifetime to show you Just how much I love you Baby, I can't be without you, no guys hope you like that song I'll put this down gently it's called a lifetime to show you so it's it's interesting because I've, I wanted to write and you know just an out-and-out out love song so firstly I'm sitting here say happy blessed Sunday to you hope you're having a beautiful day good morning to everyone out there and thanks for spending the time to check into this page I'm actually sitting in the Joshua tree in a house that I'm about to move to 
I've always wanted to come to the Joshua Tree. The last song I wrote, the lyrics were somewhat of a clue to that. And the reason I'm mentioning it is because I've always, always wanted to live out here. It's such a slower pace. It's like California personified. There's a lot of artists out here, a lot of painters, a lot of musicians, a lot of actors, a lot of sort of creative, free-spirited people, and also just people that just love the pace of the desert, as do I. There's, I don't know if you can hear that, there's music playing everywhere. I'm about to go and have some food and, and watch a, some live music. Um, but I wanted to say that's to do with making decisions, you know, like I was, I was like anybody, a little nervous to think, do I want to you know, dump myself out in the desert? But unless you do, you don't, you know, and uh, I, I think it's very important to just, even when you're an old crispy dude like me, <laughs> you just got to get on with and do it sometimes. And there's another move coming up at the end of the year somewhere else, which I can't wait to show you. But again, it's just to do with saying, hey, we've got to keep our dreams alive and then we've got to act upon them if we can. And this song was, was partly inspired by, I'd, I read a comment last week and, and somebody was saying, you know, hey, romance is dead. And, and I, I understand exactly what they were saying in some ways. They were saying, you know, it's just a date now and that's it. And it was on the message board. And I thought, you know, I'm going to write a love song. It's just an out and out love song because I, I enjoy writing songs. And um, this was from a, a man to a woman, a, a woman to a man, or a lovers to lovers, you know, people that have just found each other, want to express love to each other just so passionately. And I want to just say a quick post this week, so I'm going to go and get some food and hang out and watch somebody play an instrument and, and sing some songs, which I love to do. Um, and out in, the new, in my new home, in the Joshua Tree, so it's quite exciting. Um, I, I wanted just to say, hey, romance is there. I understand what people feel, but we must be the gatekeepers of it, you know, we, you know, it's easy to say, oh, it's corny or it's slushy or it's this, but then, you know, we want it, you know. So what I, what this post is about is saying we must be the ones that say no. Romance is not dead. Romance has not gone away. Romance is wonderful, and even the hopeful romance is what I guess this song is. It's a love song. It's a, it's a, a song that speaks of love, whether you're in love, looking for love, hoping for love, waiting for love. I just admire love, you know I do. So remember, you know, it hasn't gone anywhere, but we must be the gatekeepers of the gorgeousness of it all, you know. Say what we feel, mean what we say, be expressive. I think it's, it's interesting that, you know, I think we, you know, it kind of feels like we go la 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 about we get born and we get a hundred years, this magic hundred years. In times of old, men and women would live longer, but we don't anymore you know life is such a pressure so much to deal with so much indeed and i think by saying you know what i'm going to open the drawers and the and the and the cupboards and the and, and the boxes hidden away of all these lovely feelings of love and hope and romance the reinvigoration of it in these times is what that song's about it's about loving someone so much that their idiosyncrasies their movements what they do you love and I've been on this earth a while, I know what love is, and I love, I think love is beautiful. Um, friendship love, uh, brotherly sister family love, and of course romantic love is just, uh, it's like strapping a pair of wings on and flying, you know, it's, that's how I feel, I think love is glorious. Um, and that song is to honor that, and, and to that person who wrote the message on my post, who, who's a wonderful contributor to this community and totally understand what they had said, made me think, you know what, I understand, you know, love should be there. It shouldn't be about breakups all the time. And this sometimes it should just be about the beautiful hope of love, the beautiful participation of love, whatever, where, any, where anyone sits within that scenario. This song is to celebrate love existent, love on the way, or love in hope. And of course, I always have to mention on Sunday, love to God. And I love nothing more. It doesn't matter who I would love. I love nothing more than the big guy got upstairs and um, and that's uh, just how I am. It gives me great support and that's why I always say, hey, faith, not religion, but faith is a great asset in, in enhancing our love, showing our love and waiting for love or being a part of love. Um, so that's it. I'm going to go get some food, watch some live music. It's a solo artist actually playing the guitar about 15 minutes from here, out in the middle of nowhere, which is cool. And uh, maybe a beer or two and whatever else makes people chill over here, and, uh, some, and live music. Take your beautiful energy forward in the week. Have a gorgeous Sunday. Thanks for being here. This is going to be where this rough area is where I'm going to be doing posts very soon and saying, hey, what's up in my new location? I'll show you more another time.
Thanks for being here. Have a beautiful day. Much love to you. God bless you.